last two fights I was underdog, but the better answer is my fights and last two bonuses. And if they don't know, now they know. Have you ever taken a fight on such short notice before? And are you ready for this one? Yeah, I think it's not a big deal because I was training, I'm ready. And main thing is like to cut weight now, but I will do it because I'm mentally ready for it. Okay, I believe you were ranked number 20 in the 185 pound division and you're skipping the line to face the number eight guy. How do you feel about that? It's a big opportunity for me and I'm ready to take it. Thank him, but thanks UFC and let's go, let's do it. Can I ask you about your background in Georgia, your beginnings, how you got started? Yeah, I'm from Georgia, for me, best country in the world. And uh, there I was playing soccer. First I started from Karate, uh, Kyokushin Karate, but not long I was uh, doing it. I was a professional soccer player. And 22 years old, I decided to start doing grappling. I moved to Ukraine for education. And 28, I started MMA. In 30 years, I was already in UFC. All right, you're 34, correct? 34. Um, being 34, do you feel like you're in your prime now? And how many years do you see yourself fighting for? Being 34, I feel that I'm just starting because I start very late and I'm uh, fight, uh, from fight to fight, I'm learning uh, always something new. And I still feel that I need to do a lot more than I already did. Your striking and power became so well developed in the last two fights. Where did that come from? I think just uh, I get used to uh, 185 weight class. Uh, I now I know how to cut weight and I'm more experienced in it and that's playing also it's very important uh, and I think uh, just learning like I already told you I'm just learning from fight to fight. I heard you didn't have a head coach these last couple of fights. Yeah, so. that's true. So <laughs> what is that about? Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I don't have a head coach for this time but uh, uh, also I think that it's important to have a coach and uh, I think uh, soon uh, everything will be correct and like it needs to be. But if we will like uh, think about my career and stuff, I always was uh, doing everything by myself. Even in grappling, I was just I had my own gym and I was like competing for my own gym. Didn't have coach. I was coaching my students there and competing with them. Going to uh, like I was still a world champion, a European champion, ADCC trials winner. Uh, I competed in ADCC worlds and everywhere. I didn't have a coach, but I think in this level. I need to change something, I need to be more professional, but still, I think uh, time will change everything. Who has been helping you out this camp? Sergey was always with me, uh, and a lot of guys uh, from Pia we are training together, Ivan Blagoy and other guys, and I'm very thankful to them, they are always with me, and we are going up and up. Alright brother, congratulations on breaking the top 10, and looking forward to seeing you fight. Thank you.